We've reached the point where our website is complete. Our animations are all set up, we've included our video, and even our buttons work. Now the only thing left to do is get this site out to the web so our users can see it. This final chapter is all about exporting your movie and setting that website up so your users have some place to go. I'll even show you how to move the files over to the host and how to manage changes to the site once you've got it up. Now let's start by getting our files set up first. I'm actually just going to minimize Flash here for a moment and we'll go out to our desktop. Now if you've been working along through all the other chapters, you should have a Flash website folder with all of your files in it. But if yours is empty like mine and you're starting fresh, just open up your project files, go to the Chapter 9 folder, and let me move these so I can see both windows at once. I basically need all of the files that we have here except for this tulip graphic. I'll select everything at the very beginning, and then I can control click to deselect the tulip one. You can bring it over if you like, because it won't cause any problems. I'll just right click on this, and I can bring these over and choose copy. And now I've got a copy of my finished files. Now like I said, if you already had your files from your previous chapters, just go ahead and use them, because now we're going to be taking a look at publishing our movies. Let's move back over into Flash. And I'd like to open the file in my Flash Site folder. So I'm just going to use File Open. I'll go out to our desktop, just to make sure we're in the right place. Go into Project Files, go to our Flash website, and I'll open up Flash Site. Now, I've only copied over the AS3 version. We won't be needing the AS2 one. But if it's in your folder, don't worry about it. We'll click Open. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just so we can see what we're working on. That's control minus here on the PC, and that'd be command minus on the Mac. In this chapter, we're assuming that you have all your content finished. And the last thing you probably should do is test your movie just to make sure it's all working. So let's do that right now, just to make sure we've got everything all set up. I'll just use control enter, and of course that's command return on the Mac. It's going to export my Swift movie file. And we should see our animation run, and we come into our home page. And I'm just going to check the buttons. Our portfolio. That looks like that's working. Exhibitions, that's where we have our video. Contact, we've got some other information here. And we can go back to the home page. So everything looks like it's OK, and we're ready to get this out to the web. Let me close my test window, and let's go over to our file menu, and we'll choose the publish settings here. Now, we've looked at this a couple times before in previous chapters, just for some quick settings. As you can see, under Formats, we've got Flash as a Swift file and HTML, creating a hosting page, both selected. And what that means is if we published right now, we're going to make those two files exclusively. Now, I wanted to go through some of these published settings so we know what's going on. So I'm going to start in the Flash tab. This tab controls every setting that's going to be used in creating our Swift file. And it's actually used every single time we make a Swift, even when we test movie. We've talked about the player and the script before. And basically, my recommendation is that you choose these ones right when you start your file up. You can still change them at any time you want to, but if you've already got content in your movie that matches that player, that's not going to work when you drop it down. Now, let's try it just so we know how it's going to work. I can change this back to a Flash 6 player if I wanted to. Notice that changes Action Script to 2, and we know we've got some Action Script 3 written in here, so that already is not going to work. Now, if I click OK, I just wanted to point out that if we select some item, like let's say the camera icon here, and I go down to the Properties menu, let me pull this up just a little bit so we can see more, you'll notice that the filters have been completely removed from the screen, so I couldn't set them if I wanted to. If we don't tell the movie that we're targeting the Flash 6 player, it's not going to be able to help us with things like this. So let's go back to our Publish Settings and change it back. I'll go right back into File, Publish Settings, and we'll switch the player back to 10. And we'll switch ActionScript back to 3 so that everything's going to work properly. 